Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another home video tour. Today we are at Ascension. This is Toll Brothers, the builder, and we're looking at this luxury single story home. With uh, 3,440 square feet, we are at the Ridgeline Collection, and this specific floor plan is the Silver Stone. Super excited to show it to you. We have three car garage, we have four bedrooms with four full bathroom and a powder room separate, giving you one bathroom for each bedroom. Beautiful, uh, stunning ceilings up to 16 feet tall. We're gonna cover that when we go inside. Beautiful veneer stone stacked up front we have a uh, modern elevation here with uh with a beautiful neighborhood we are in ascension ascension is the newest community built by both pulte and toll brothers and um what they're doing here is pretty much a luxury neighborhood right next to the mesa ridge park or where mesa ridge used to be and it's mostly a continuation of it. it's right off of the mountains here in summerland red rock is right here on this side so we have a beautiful neighborhood prices uh start on this specific floor plan it is one million and seven hundred sixteen thousand dollars starting price um we'll talk about a lot of premiums and upgrades once we get inside but we have in this ascension community an hoa of 65 dollars for summerland west because we are located in summerland right off of your, I would say Fort Apache and uh, Tropicana are the closest intersections, uh, but a little bit more west. And uh, we're looking at uh, total for Ascension, the HOA, it's uh, $255. So total between the Master Plan Community HOA and the Ascension Community HOA, your total HOAs are gonna be $320, which is gonna give you a lot of amenities such as community pool, community park, guard gated community, which is a very nice addition. Now, in this specific home, uh, we're, we're talking about some beautiful features and a lot of options are already included. We're gonna talk about that once we go inside. Your front landscaping is already gonna be finished by the builder. You're gonna have paver stone, depending on the stone that you choose at the design center, but these are pretty much one of the options that they have available. We're gonna have uh, beautiful 16 foot ceilings as you walk in. The glass door is an upgrade. We do have some upgrades in here, but most of them are already included. For example, when you walk in, you're gonna see 12, sorry, 16 foot ceilings in your entrance hallway here. We have about eight feet wide between the two walls, so it feels very spacious. Over to the left, you're gonna see a little bit there, your powder room, living room, your garage entrance. Back here, we're gonna find another bedroom back there. Then we have two bedrooms up front to the right with a little den in between. And then uh, last but not least, in the back to the left, we have your primary bedroom. As you walk in, I mean, you got plenty of accent walls, uh, wooden walls, fi fixtures, and everything you can ask for because this is a model home. You have a level four finish hole in your walls. This texture right here is uh, already included in the base price. So most of the options are already included. As far as this uh, design center options goes, people are putting on average $210,000, which for the neighborhood is not much. It's pretty much just your, what you're picking at your design center because you don't have to upgrade many things here in this house. As you walk down here, you get this beautiful little den area. Could be an office. If you wanna close this off, you could also putting a double door or you can keep it open like it is right now. We have 10, 12 foot ceilings in here on this side of the house. And uh, all these extra uh, features like wooden walls, those are all extra upgrades. This bedroom is about 10 by 12, a decent size room. You have back here up front and you can see the front entrance from this window. You'll find uh, this bedroom with a full bathroom. You'll have your sink, toilet, and your tub and shower combo. Now, this tile is going to be an upgrade that you can choose at Design Center. Uh, these are all options uh, that are customizable. 
Same thing with your bedroom here. I would not expect all the design here, but you will, uh, you can expect to get uh, the texture, the ceiling height, which is the 12 foot ceilings, the window heights uh, and how big they are because of the luxury of this neighborhood. And uh, over here we have a nice walk-in closet as well. So very spacious room. We're looking at this room being about 13 by 14. So this could easily fit a king size bed as well in this room. This is a queen bed and you can see how it fits in this room with plenty of room for extra desks. I like how it has this little hallway going into it as well. As we go to the second bedroom back here, we also have about 13 by 14. That'll be your 14 foot wall by 13 on this one. So very nice, very spacious. Again, 12 foot ceilings also on this side of the house. You'll have your full bathroom over here with your single sink as well. Pretty much the same thing as the other uh, bathroom with your tile upgrade. All the fixtures here are an upgrade. It comes with the brushed nickel finish, but you can do the gold, the black, and all those things that you wanna add to that house. Here we have your walk-in closet also for the second bedroom. So very spacious rooms. You can fit the queen, the king beds in here easily. We're talking about 3,400 square feet of a house. So we have a lot of room in here. Over to the left, uh, this will be their garage, which is gonna be a three car garage. Um, there's not much to say about that. And also it's not, it's not accessible right now because they are, uh, they have their sales office in there. Over to the left, you have some extra storage space over here, which is locked right now. They use it for their you know, audio equipment. And then we have in here your powder room, which has been also upgraded significantly. Now this model home, you can expect this to have about $400,000 in upgrades in this house. Um, you know, so keep that in consideration when you're looking at this house. If you were to build something similar, you don't have to do all the upgrades and all the accent walls in here, but you'll be somewhere around $210,000 to get something really nice between cabinets, countertops, and let's say tiled in the bathrooms and so, and so on. Here's your laundry room. It has the access from the primary bedroom to get into this. So, uh, you know, washer and dryer are an upgrade. You have your sink over here as an upgrade. All these cabinets are upgraded, uh, but yeah, you do get cabinets above uh, the washer and dryer. <clears throat> this is the third bedroom. Uh, they turned it into an office in here, but you can tell here it's a very spacious one as well. We have about 12 by 13 in here. So a little bit smaller than the other one, but it does have this opening up front, which makes it feel a little bit bigger. Also still 12 foot ceilings. You can see the eight foot doors right there. And then you have another extra four feet on top. So that would be your 12 foot ceilings. And uh, the eight foot doors are included also in the base price. This will be your third bathroom. You can also option to get, let's say a walk-in shower in some of the bathrooms, if that is preferable, but it's up to you and whatever uh, works for you. One thing to notice is you're gonna have to do this upgrade after because the builder cannot get a hold of these, um, these uh, drains in the golden fixture. It's just the way it is and here. Uh, you can mix and match. I've seen them mix and match the gold with the black really nice, but gold black and now chrome is a little too much. Minor details that can easily be fixed. And uh, as we go back in, going to the main open floor plan here and I mean this is massive you can actually tell from the people who are here you know how big this space feels when you walk in beautiful kitchen look at this fireplace beautiful uh, 16 foot or slider with extra windows on top and we'll talk about those in a second because they're not necessarily included in the base price so all these upgrades where you see all the wooden pictures, those are all upgrades. As far as the cabinets, this would be one of the upgrades which gives you the stackable. It comes with a 42 inch, which is this side. You can do the stackable on top. As far as your flooring, it's gonna cost you quite a bit in this house. I would argue this flooring is gonna run around 100,000 because of, uh, in, in this whole house, just because it's a model home and they use this 24 by 24 tile. There's different pricing for everything. Toll Brothers usually is not the most cost-effective way 
uh, to go with flooring. So you might want to consider doing it after you close on the house. Beautiful. We have also included in the base price here. By the way, these are 16 foot ceilings in this living room. And I'll explain in a second too. Uh, we can see here the Wolf appliance package with the Sub-Zero refrigerator. That's going to be included also with your Wolf stove as well. Got the six burners plus this extra heater right here. You can cook some pancakes or whatever you want. Dual oven. And then this massive hood above. Tile all the way to the ceiling. Oh, beautiful options. Now this kitchen also extends back here to have the, an extra, uh, you know, space right here where you can do like a workspace, a little desk or whatever it is that you prefer. Then going back here, we have your huge walk-in pantry with the upgraded custom pantry. So this upgraded custom pantry is something you could choose from uh, from their um, their company that they use, which I believe it's Closets Las Vegas, but uh, this is gonna run you somewhere around 20 grand just to do this, this pantry right here, which, you know, it's gorgeous. And then uh, walking back out, we will see here, yeah, I love it. It's just so grandiose just being in here. It's this massive ceiling, 16 foot high. It's, it's on a different level. You can see the doors are eight foot high right here. That's another eight right there on top. And these doors are an upgrade. Also the windows, having those top windows is an upgrade. I believe those are included or maybe just the bottom part is included. Now, if you want everything like this model home with all those windows, which I highly recommend you to do so, you're probably looking at around $45,000 of an upgrade to get all the windows, all the sliding doors that are included because not all of them are included. Usually you have a 12 foot sliding door instead of 16. If you wanna upgrade it to 16, you can do so. Uh, and that's gonna run you a total of about 45 grand. Your fireplace, your gas fireplace, about 48 inches and then the tile all the way to the ceiling. That would be your primary bedroom. And uh, I haven't checked this uh, dining room. Now you could also turn this into a den if you want to. I would highly um, discourage you from doing so because uh, it's nice to have this open space. I don't think you'll have enough room to put in your island dining room and living room over there without making it feel a little bit claustrophobic, not claustrophobic, it's impossible to feel claustrophobic with 60 foot ceilings, but um, to, to make it feel a little bit cluttered, you know, but also here you get these huge doors letting in plenty of light and it feels like you're outside here while you're sitting in your dining room with your beautiful pool backyard. And uh, <clears throat> all the upgraded sides and also going all around the island. The island is huge. You can fit five seats. It has four in this one. And then uh, extra cabinets right there with your Gen Air uh, refrigerator. That's I'm guessing Wolf cannot uh, get those uh, anymore. And that's probably why they put in a Gen Air in here. Going into the primary bedroom find a beautiful 16 foot ceiling so all the other bedrooms do have 12 foot ceilings but this one still carries out the living room height going in here and you get that 16 foot ceiling lots of windows again again 45,000 to get all the windows that you get in this house you could also add a sliding door here if you wanted to fireplace is optional also in here those are going to run you somewhere around 25 to 40k depending on the fireplace a little of a stretch but it is a gas fireplace so that's really nice you can see the king bed fits very well in here this gas fireplace does take quite some space as well so if you want more of a retreat you don't need to put this in you could do something with an electrical fireplace in a bedroom that's usually enough and then your primary bathroom has uh, this beautiful layout. So first off, over to the left, you have your water closet. And then check this out. 
second water closet. So you have for her and for him, or the uh, vice versa. And then we have here your tile all the way to the ceiling in this massive shower. This shower is approximately six by eight. You have uh, your two valves. You can also add a water, uh, sorry, a rainfall shower in the on top, making it three shower heads. And this one has the two separate ones. Now, one thing to consider is these are separate valves, which means they they come straight from the main line, two different lines. It's not one line that splits and then it changes the pressure coming out of it as you open one or the other one or both at the same time. So keep that in consideration. You have your two separate vanities here with the self-standing tub. Definitely makes a statement in this bathroom, which has also the 16 foot ceilings. Usually these model homes are gonna sell for about twice the price of the base price, I would say. Depends if it has a view or not. This one I would argue is probably gonna run somewhere around three million or so just due to the fact that it's a model home with all these upgrades. This, uh, it will be your closet. It does not come with all these, uh, this upgraded closet space, but you're probably looking around 15 to 20 as well for each one of these closets with that company. And then this will be that door that leads you out to your laundry room. We haven't seen the backyard yet though, so let's go back there and check it out. We do have your access from here and that will be the only access to the backyard unless you added an extra sliding door that opens because all of these that we see in the in the in the bedroom as well as your dining room they're all fixed windows so you don't have an opening the size of this cover patio is huge this is an oversized lot. We don't get usually these size lots. So this, the average lot is gonna cost you around 150,000 in this neighborhood. Okay, so that's gonna pretty much give us a total price out the door for these homes. Starting at 1.7 million plus two, uh, let's say 150, we're at mid 1.8 million, uh, 1.85 million or so. And then with upgrades, an extra 220,000 for something like this, looking like this, maybe not as upgraded as the model home with all the finishes that it has, but still really nice. You're probably looking at somewhere just above 2 million, like 2.1 on average is what these homes are selling for, which is a nice purchase price if you consider the fact that, you know, most of these builders out here are selling for way more as well. Beautiful pool. This is obviously not included. What you're gonna get up here is no tile here. You're gonna get pavers in here. And then it ends right here at the end of the house. Everything covered is going to have the pavers underneath. And we have a huge covered patio here. Then everything outside is gonna be dirt. So you're gonna have to come in and get a design going for this. This is gonna run you somewhere around 250 with a, with a pool company and a landscaper. We do have this uh, beautiful barbecue area, all optional. Uh, with the design center, you cannot do the pool with their design, with their uh, with the builder, Toll Brothers. Unfortunately, they don't offer it, at least not at this moment. Wonderful house, wonderful model home. Definitely one uh, one of those homes that you don't find often especially at toll brothers in this part of town so if you're looking for luxury you're looking for something in this price range this might be it for you guys if you guys have any questions about any of these new construction homes any of the new builders out here in the las vegas valley you can feel free to reach out to me my name is jack graham and i'm a realtor with simply vegas i would love to assist you if you're purchasing one of these homes as well as uh, just pretty much assist you throughout the whole purchase process, whether you're going to buy one of these or anything else, any of the competition that they have out here. And uh, having a realtor that can assist you um, throughout this process is an invaluable resource. So even if you don't hire me, hire another realtor to get you represented. 
Uh, if you go in by yourself, please do, but make sure you you let the sales agents know. Uh, you know, Kevin might be there up front that you are working with me so that if you end up buying, I can represent you. All my information is down below in the description. You can call me or text me at 702-606-4815 and we can get you started with that process. Uh, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video. Also toured the model next door, which is the satin wood. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a link up there. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.